Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 Blitz Play Prep Mission Tow Truck, where we'll absolutely send it with a rickety old rust bucket. Hi, and welcome back. My name's Dan, and I'm an old, grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online. There's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, getting gold in every damn mission in GTA 5, as we look at Grand Theft Auto Mission Tow Truck. And don't forget to hang about until the end so you can catch our bonus tips for getting this one first go. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one is a lot of fun, but it can be a bit hairy as tow trucks are not really built for speed. It's best if you use Franklin for this mission too. To get gold in this one, we'll need to reach the tow truck's top speed, avoid damaging the tow truck, and get back to the FIB lot in under three minutes. So let's pick up just after I found the tow truck. We'll head on over, drop into stealth mode, as we've got that fellow who's working on the car there. Clearly not having a great time with the radiator. Sneak up and clob it. Right, so that's non-lethal. Oh, and he had 15 bucks on him. Sweet. All right, so we'll head over jump into the tow truck now remember we do need to try and keep it from getting too much damage and we also need to really make sure that we can hit that top speed sneak up a little shortcut here and there we go now it very much is just a case of following the gps all the way back because i don't think the police have detected us yet and i'm not confident they will All right, so drop into Franklin's ability to sneak past the traffic lights. Remember, we are on a strict timeline now that we're in the truck. And we'll hang on to that just for a moment And when we get down this straight so that we can get that top speed. There we go. And through the corner. And through the corner again. Ooh. Nearly lost it. All right, there we go. Now that's another thing you can do with Franklin's ability if you haven't seen it before, is you can use his focus to stop and you will stop on an absolute dime. Head through this traffic and I'm pretty confident we've hit that top speed already. It's now just a case of getting back to the FIB lot intact in under that three minutes. Nearly there, just up around and in we go. So once you're in, just head straight through and straight for the marker. Jump out. Move away from the truck. And let's see how the result was. And that is gold. Brilliant. So, minute to spare, 176% of the top speed of the tow truck. So, yeah, we, we sent it. That was pretty good. And before we get to any bonus tips, it's probably an opportune time to mention that we recently launched our Patreon page. Patreon backers get access to most videos early, are automatically entered into exclusive Patreon-only shark card draws, receive priority responses to questions, and are invited to join any of the old grumpy gamers whenever we're gaming online. Details on how to become a backer are in the description below. And while you're there, don't forget to enter our semi-regular milestone shark card giveaways, follow us on your favourite social media platform, and visit our website for all the latest in old grumpy gamer goodness. So thanks for watching to the end. Here are my top tips for getting through this one first go. Take out the mechanic before trying to borrow his truck and use Franklin's ability on a straight to absolutely send it with the Trash Master. So what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. Check out the video on the left for the next mission, Boiler Suits, or the one on the right for the heist itself. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.